Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a perfect three-column grid layout with CSS and nth child selectors. This video was inspired by a blog post by Nathan Schwartz, which is available at the URL shown here. The grid layout I'll be creating has columns that are the same width and have equal spacing. In addition, the layout won't break if the content of one panel in the grid is longer than the others. Here's the finished layout. To create this layout, start with this simple HTML, repeated as many times as necessary. One for each entry in a blog, for example. Next, add the CSS. I'll show the CSS first, and then we'll go through and explain how it works. This is the finished CSS. Here's the first line of the CSS. Here, everything is floated to the left and takes up one-third of the maximum width available. We also add a margin to the bottom to keep things neat. The next step is to add some padding. We can't just add padding to every element because then the last element in each row would get padded as well, which we don't want. So we use the nth of type selector. This first rule selects every third blog entry starting with the first and adds padding to the right. The second rule selects every third blog entry starting with the second and adds padding on both the left and the right. The third rule selects every third blog entry starting with the third and adds padding to the left edge. The result is that you can have as many blog entries as you want and they'll all be padded correctly for rows of three. Note that the box sizing property has to be set to border box so that the inner padding isn't added to the total size of the panels but is instead taken away from them. The next rule makes sure that our images are 100% of the width of their containing panel. This makes things look nice but it isn't essential to achieving the three column grid layout. The next rule is the important one. This rule says to take every third element beginning with the fourth one and clear the float. This makes sure that the fourth panel will fall into place even if the panels that come before it aren't the same height. To illustrate, here's a grid in which the second panel has a greater height than the others. This prevents the fourth image from moving below it, which you can see happening in this image. The blue here is the actual content, the green is the padding, and the orange is the bottom margin that we added. The fourth panel is prevented from sliding underneath the first panel by the different height of the second panel. When we add the clear, it causes the new row to be started underneath the first element in the previous row, no matter what. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Nathan for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development.